this is an example of a radio control turret. In the past weeks I've shown you this homemade and 3D printed radio controller with Arduino. Today I'm using this to control this turret that could move up and down, go left and right and could light up matches using some nichrome wire that could get very hot, or in this case light up some of these small fireworks rockets. Instead of hitting the wire and lighting up matches, you could connect this to whatever you want. Maybe you could add a laser, a buzzer or create your own firing system maybe with BB gun or rubber bands. I'm using my 3D printed Tiger 1 tank as a support, but we won't control the tank for now, only the turret. The frame is 3D printed and it moves using servos. The control is made with Arduino. The nichrome wire is controlled with some MOSFETs and for safety the power is enabled with a relay, only if we activate it from the radio controller. So we activate the rockets with a switch. We aim using the joysticks and when we are done pointing the turret, we fire with another switch and the rocket should light up and fly away. Before we start make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. Also thanks to all my patrons for the support. So let's get started. If you consider ordering prototyping PCBs, check the services of the sponsor of this video, GLC PCB, the biggest prototyping PCB manufacturer from China. Process time is just 2 days and a few more days for shipping. I use their services all the time for all kind of PCBs. Small PCBs, flexible, 2 or 4 layers and different solder mask colors. Upload your Gerber files to glcpcb.com. The order process is just a couple of minutes. So go and order your board starting from only $2. What's up my friends, welcome back. We start by looking at the parts that we need. I've designed these parts for the turret and printed them using PLA material, 2 perimeters and 20% infill and with a nozzle of 0.4mm. We have this main base of the turret that will fit over the tank. Or if you don't have this tank, you could fit it over any other support or any other RC toy car. You could also find all the parts for the 3D printed tank, ready to download below this video and you could also see the video where I build this Tiger 1 piece by piece. Ok guys, so on this base I will fit the first servo. And on top of this I will add this rotating plate. It will have some bearings on the side, so it will rotate without wobbling. On top of this I will screw in place this other support for the second servo. And after you insert this servo inside of this part, we can add the turret arm that will move up and down. The rocket support has spaces from some 3mm nuts and by that we can later screw these parts together. For the servo motors I'm using two Futaba 3003 motors. For the MOSFETs I'm using some N-channel RF44N MOSFETs that will control the power applied to the nichrome wire. Now this wire must be very thin. I'm using this 32AWG and that is a 0.2mm diameter wire. The nichrome wire can't be too long neither, because the longer it gets the higher will be its resistance, so less current will flow. As you can see in this example I apply 5 volts to this wire, but with a big distance between the connectors. As I get closer to the other end, the wire will get hot enough till it gets bright red. Ok guys, some other parts that we need are the UNRF24 radio module, we also need a relay, a LiPo battery to supply the circuit, a small buck converter to get the 5 volts but that will also have some decent power, bearings, some screws and of course the 3D printed homemade radio controller from the other video. Go below this video and find a link to my webpage electronus.com for the steps for this project but using a commercial PWM radio controller instead of this homemade one. Of course, we also need an Arduino for this project. So this is the full schematic. The radio controller receives the data. The Arduino will control some PWM signals and by that will move the servos. It will also activate the relay, so power will be applied to the MOSFETs. And these MOSFETs will turn on and off the nichrome wire and by that fire up the rockets. So this is all that we need for this project. See the full part list below. Ok, I first screw in place the first servo motor on the main base, using some 3mm screws and nuts. Now I add this star shape on the shaft and screw that in place as well. Now I take the rotating plate and I add some very small bearings all around. 
First I add the screw, then a nut, then the small bearing followed by another nut. This will give more support to the turret. Now I add 4 screws in these 4 holes, that will be used later for the support for the second servo motor. Ok, so now I screw the entire rotating plate to the bottom servo motor. Now I add the support for the second motor and I screw that in place using the same 3mm screws that I've added before. Insert the second servo motor inside of this support with the wire coming on this hole and screw that in place as well. Now I will add the turret arm like this. First I place it on one side and then over this plastic cylinder. Now make sure that the servo is in the middle position and then I add the plastic part on the shaft and screw that in place. Now the arm will move at the same time with the servo motor. Now insert some 3mm nuts inside of the rocket support. Now place it over the turret arm and screw that in place as well with some 3mm screws. So now the base is ready. I drill a small hole in both the rotating plate and the main support and I pass the servo wire through that hole. So now that the turret is ready, let's see the Arduino part. Have the schematic in front of you. Ok, I'll make the test on the breadboard. Connect the Arduino to the radio module and the servo motors to the signal pin and ground. Now I add this small buck converter and set it to 5 volts before you connect it to the circuit. Now I supply these 5 volts to the servo motors and to the Arduino. Before I connect the MOSFET, I test if the turret can move with the receive signal from the radio controller. And yes, it works very well. I add the MOSFET that will control the Nichrome wire and I connect signal from the digital pins of the Arduino through a 100 ohms resistor. I also add an LED at the same output. Now I test if it works. I enable the first switch and the relay LED will turn on. Then I enable the second switch and the fire LED will turn on for half a second. If the relay is not activated, the fire won't activate neither, for safety. I add the relay between the end of the nichrome wire and power, so in this way current will flow only if the relay is activated. Now I take some nichrome wire and wind it around some fireworks matches. I connect this to the wire between the relay and the MOSFET, just as in the schematic. Now I upload the code and then I power everything up and give it a test. I can move the turret left and right with a roll joystick. Then I can move it up and down with a pitch joystick. I activate the relay with the first switch. And now I fire with the second switch and there you go. The match burn out. So I can aim, enable the missile and fire. Of course, I'm inside so I won't connect it to the real fireworks rocket, only to the matches. So as you can see the matches turn on fire. The rocket support can have 4 missiles and there are 2 holes on the bottom of this support. One is for the guidance wood stick and the other hole is for the nichrome wire. So pass the nichrome wire through this hole and attach it to the rocket. Then you can fit the rocket in place. Pass the wires through the drill hole that will go inside of the tank and connect the wires to the MOSFETs. I put everything inside of the tank and place the turret over. So now my tank is armed and ready. I can use the joystick to aim and then I can fire. Well I hope that you like this small tutorial. In the next video I will design the PCB and make the tank move once again using my homemade radio controller. I hope that you will like that as well. Read the code line by line for more details, so you would know how to receive the radio data and control the servos. You have the schematic, the 3D files, a full part list and the code below of this video, so check electronoops.com for more. I hope that you like this project. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. And remember, if you consider helping my project, check my Patreon page as well. So thanks again and see you later guys.